Alright, welcome to KSP. I haven't done this for a very, very long time, but we're going to get started and do something up here. So, we'll do this. We're going to make an airplane. It's not going to be your standard traditional airplane. It's going to be a jet of some sort. It'll carry many passengers. And I think I need some fuel. Where'd you go, fuel tanks? I have lots of mods right now. Here we go. Boom. And we'll stuff an engine back here. We'll find the Weasley. That should be enough airplane for us today. And now we need to put a nose. This will work. Boom. Someone's going to figure out if they see this exactly what I'm doing. I saw somebody else do this. So I'm going to attempt to do it myself. Mm, do I want to go like that? I want two of them. And I want to, yes, like that. Although I'm thinking I might actually say forget it and go like this. I'll do something different for the tail here. Let's see, tail. I want a standard canard. And then I'll go like this. That's my tail plane. That should work. And I'll go ahead and set this to be just pitch or just yaw and this will be strictly pitch. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I need some structural fuel silages. If I can find it. <laughs> Duh, under structures, I forgot. Uh, structure, structure, structure. Here we go. Alright, so I go like this, and then we do the really interesting cool part. We go like this. It should become pretty clear what it is I'm doing here. <laughs> this is going to be the photoshopped airplane, because why not? We'll go like that, and we'll go, if I can select it. doesn't quite want to do what I want it to do, does it? There we go. Alright, and then we'll go... That's actually a good spot to put landing gear. And then we'll go put uh, those cones on the back. Boom. Smooth it out a little bit. Almost looks like... Hmm. Need more wings. Don't have nearly enough wings. So let's get ourselves some control surfaces on these. Where are they? We'll go here. No, not like that. Like that. And then here we go, the fat 45. And I think I need the angled ones now. Angled control services. Where are you? Right here. Well, you can work. There we go. Perfect. Like that. Wow, it's almost like they're designed to go there, you know? And I think we'll put uh, some of these goobers on like this. Like so. I forget what those are called, but they have a very important function on, on stuff. I'm thinking I need to... Well, first, before I do anything else, let's put some landing gear on it just for giggles. I think I'll put a, uh, nose gear and tail gear. So I might lengthen the nose out. I think my CG is going to be all weird. But let's, let's do the landing gear first, and we'll see how it is. So we'll put small landing gear. Go like that. 
And I probably had to put it like way back here or something. I'm just guessing I haven't actually checked my CG yet. Alright, now that I kind of got the rough shape of the plane. CG, that'll work. Center lift. My center lift needs to be behind my center of gravity. So let's say we toss on another fuel tank. Boom! Alright, this looks like a nice flying death trap. So we will push that way forward. Nose gear. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the slider tool here. And we'll scooch that forward a bit. Okay, now what happens if I empty... Oops. Well, I can get rid of C... I'll oh, leave CL on. Empty that tank. Empty that tank. Yeah, so it should pretty much stay right where I need it to be. And I can always adjust the wing positions a little bit to balance it a little more. Like that. So it might be a bit twitchy, but that's okay. So we want no pitch, no roll, no pitch, no, I mean no yaw, rather. Alright. I turn, whoa, steering off. Alright, so now I can steer off just this front tire here. And I think I'm going to have problems with strength and rigidity of, rigidity of the unit of the entire thing, because I got landing gear stuck here. Oops, I just realized I don't have two of these bad boys. Fix that. So we'll go like that. Boom. Looks legit. Okay. That's my take of the Photoshop airplane. Who is going to fly this thing? I think Val's going to fly it, and Jeb's going to be our backup pilot. Oops. <laughs> I meant to hit launch. But hey, I saved it. Good job. Okay, i got to fast forward time. It's night time. Boring old night time. Nobody likes it. Okay, so. Well, that's not going to work. My CG's all off. Yeah, it's about to blow up. Did I not push that back? Take off! Take off! Get <laughs> Got the mandatory screenshots. Whoa! <laughs> Bit of a tumble there. Let's go ahead and revert to uh, space plane hangar and fix. Where did it say that was? Oh yeah, okay. No wonder. I thought I fixed that. Oops. Okay. Back we go. Let's try that. See what we get. There we go. Much better. Don't ask me how all the air from here gets all the way back here, but somehow it does.
That's right, I turned that guy off. If I unplugged my Razer and a Stromo keypad. See, I can fly with my keypad instead. Instead of my mouse. Oh, hey now. Problem is, I don't have a control key on that. It's not a complete... It's almost all of your, the left-hand side of a keyboard, but not quite. It doesn't have the function keys or the first five of the number keys. It's missing control and the Windows key, and I think it has Alt. I feel like this and this. Nope. Okay, so yeah, I do have an Alt key I'm pressing here on my gamepad. I don't know if this thing is going to land very well. It's Hey, it flies well. At minimal engine power, I'm still accelerating. Oh, well, not anymore. Now I am. And a view from the cockpit is... Yeah, fighter interior. With RPM installed. Yay, I love RPM. RPM is nice. Wow, I got... Uh, I got the door from the thing here, I can see. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's open! Oh, that's sweet. I always thought this was kind of a neat feature in the, the cockpit. Oh, I can actually see the... Oh, that is weird. You still see the gear going up. And you can kind of fly from this. I can tell I'm flying pretty much level with the horizon. Oh, hey, cool! It tells me all my stuff. Monopropellant, fuel, electricity, surface speed, all that. Neat. So I can see from there. So I hit C, I get back to my view, and C again, I get back to this. And I have overflown. So yeah, I was looking out of that hatch. Right there. And I could see out of that window. So I turned the lights on. Well, that's neat. And now that I've turned on, or deployed the landing gear, I should go up some. Yeah, the hatches are, st are kind of funny looking. It's like they're halfway open. They're like rotated about. Hey, it's nice that I can see the wing. So what if I do this one? I should be able to see... Oh, well, same thing. It's kind of weird being a lookout your look out your plane and see part of your aircraft there. It's kind of a different thing, but hey, at least the benefit of it is I can I can easily tell that. Yep, I got two landing gear down. What do you see over there, Jeb, or whoever my other pilot is? And they can look around and say, Yeah, I see landing gear. I can look out. I can peer out the window more and say, Yep, they're down, and verify that they're up. So I guess that's kind of a safety thing. I guess. Hey, this is why this. Concept is awesome. So yeah, I, I, I give this two thumbs up because you can easily tell if your airplane has got the landing gear deployed or not in case you, you can't tell. Because real flying, you can't fly like this. Fly like this. So I'll go full throttle. I think it's the throttle right here. I'm trying to fly while also doing this stuff here. Um, it's I'm missing something here. I should be, there we go. I mean, never mind, I have it right here. It's hard to read though. Will it go like this? Am 
when I to turn too fast, I might actually like stall this thing out or put it in a spin or something. So now I'm going almost north. I need to be going not quite so north. Here we go. There's the island that I buzzed earlier, I think. There's a number of them, but the bigger one is this one that looks like it's got a flat spot to the right that I'm aimed at. Can you tell me my throttle percentage? 82%, huh? Really? Let's do um, 48% throttle. That should be enough. The heck does that do? <laughs> I don't know what it does, but it does something. It makes a really loud clicking noise. I can turn on action groups if I had action groups here. So there's supposed to be maybe I yeah the little like uh, I don't know dashboard covering part here is covering the row of buttons that's up here that you can see here now some of them are covered up by the nav ball so this is an important gauge this is kind of important my altitude rate of climb yeah slide back to KSC. Oh, lights. I see that lights came on here on the, the display. That's goofball. This is supposed to be the display that's here, but it's kind of like broken. Target. If you had autopilot, you could do that. Vessel viewer, engine igniter, docking port, al docking port alignment indicator. I don't have those mods right here, so... Oh, Valentina's in charge. She's the primary pilot. Oh, there's KSC. I see it now. I was looking for... I knew it was over there in that little flat glass grassy area. There it is. Way out there. So we should probably get ourselves lined up with the runway, so we'll go this way some. Somehow I think this compass is wrong. Am I going north? Oh, I am. Okay, yeah, because you take off and you fly east. That's right. So, uh, I should probably think about doing a turn to line up with the runway. I guess it would be runway 27. The way we're coming in to land on it. It's runway 9 when we take off. Because it's facing along 90 degrees. I lined up with it yet? Almost. We'll put the gear out now. Now you notice up here I have local control and all this. This is because I have um, remote tech installed. Which makes probes just so much fun right now. I threw a probe over the moon and all of a sudden I realized I couldn't control it because the strongest transmitter I had on it was not set up to aim at Kerbin, so I was like, Dread, what do I do? I had to throw another probe up there to act as a relay with the shorter transmitter on the first probe, and then I had continuity with mission control. When I get pretty close to the runway, I'm going to kill the engines. That's the brakes. Of course brakes would be red, you know, red lights for brakes. 
Okay, what side am I on? Okay, so I need to have this lined up with the runway. So I can't have my view lined up with the center line of the runway. I need to be right of center in order for this to be at the center. No, that wasn't talking political. <laughs> that was just discussing the physics of the aircraft as I try to get down to the ground. It's a little twitchy. You know, I should probably use my actual keyboard for this because it's a little more familiar to me. Okay. Engine's off and I'm, I'm way off here. Yep, I'm way off. Uh, well. Well, I guess we're just going to go for grass landing now. Okay, screw that. That didn't end up very well. Brakes, 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 brakes. And we're stopping. We're stopping. Right? Speed? What's my speed? Uh, that's not good. I literally have no idea what's going on because it won't tell me my velocity. Oh, there's my velocity. 70... I don't have like an indicated airspeed thing here, but I think... What is it? Say 57? Alright, that'll work. Brakes. Brakes do not work very well. Come on, come on. We can do it. Alright, can we get slewed around here? The benefit is it has pretty wide landing uh, in terms of... Oh, we're skidding. That's what we're doing. So am I aimed at 90? Yeah, that want to be aimed at 90. That'll get us back to KSC. That was fun. <laughs> kind of. Oh, it's neat. My shadows are kind of see-through. Is it because my lights are on? Weird. It's showing this, these windows through the, to the ground, which I can't see. Well, let's get back to KSC. Let's take this thing off again. Little line here, whatever. Not sure what that is. Might go away if I go above it. Whoa. Here we go. Hey, yes, I suck at flying. I have no problem with rockets. Rockets are easy. It's flying that gives me a hard time. Everyone's like, whoa, this is totally awesome. I'm like, no, it's not. Oops. Oh, I guess we're going to. Brakes. Urch. Oh no, somebody died. Or did they? Valentina was killed. Alright, Jeb survived. That's the important part. Well, neat. I managed to somehow manage... Or Save half the crew, anyway. Oh, I think I know what the issue is. Well, no, that wouldn't matter. Anyway. That never happened. <laughs> um, I like it, but I kind of don't like it. I think it's because I don't have a lot of rudder control. So let's go fix that. Let's... That might be a bit too much wing. <laughs> Is that too much wing? Too much rudder control? Nonsense. There's no such thing as too much rudder control. Oh, hey, can I go like that? That looks pretty solid. Big giant fin. All 
Alright, how's that mess up my CG and CL? Ah! Yeah, I can actually put the wings pretty far back now. Or forward, I mean forward, yeah, forward. Um... Let's get, let's get rid of those. Or let's rather move them forward some. And down. That's going to mess up my landing gear, though. There's no way I'm putting a landing gear that far back. That looks legit. <laughs> Alright, let's put you back a bit now. <laughs> we'll fly this monstrosity anyway. We'll see what this does real quick. I don't think anything good. Quick, fast forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That just looks wrong. If I wanted to be more legit, I'd have to have a bigger intake, a bigger body, because the real photoshopped airplane is, uh, was, I think, a, a wide-bodied thing, and this is like a little Learjet. This isn't quite as legit. That flies a little better than before. Let's get some speed up here and see what we do. I just found it weird that the little like nose cone bits here glow red. I'm not sure why that is. Like, what was that supposed to be? Yeah, I think the increased rudder size makes it a little more stable. I'm just curious if I can land it now. There we go, I got confused with with control versus X. X kills your thrust control, just throttles it back some. We'll do that. Air brakes might need to be a thing. So I can still take off if I wanted to. But I don't. I can puddle jump this a little bit now. I guess it's not too bad of a little airplane. Can drag the tail on the ground. Yeah, that works good. Oh, hey, I can turn the brakes way up in terms of strength. That might be a th something I need to do. Alright, cool. Neat. I didn't kill everybody. So that's my attempt at the photoshopped airplane. So, with three Ps. Four Ps. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. You will have a good day.